Nemetodarus, it is unlike most of the other worms that we encounter in sheep, in that it's a lamb to lamb worm, but it is also carried by ewes, although it does not affect ewes very much. It's a worm traditionally of spring and occurs in young lambs. It is temperature sensitive in that it needs a cold period during the winter um, and then a sudden increase in te or grass temperature produces a mass hatch of eggs so there is a big intake of larvae. It is not the adult but the final larvae in the uh, lamb's gut that causes the problems and it often results in death of the lambs before any eggs are detected in the faeces. Thankfully very little, if any, resistance has been recorded to Nematodarus and the white drenches, the group 1s, are by far the most effective in its control. However, if you have a prolonged lambing period, then lambs need to be treated probably at least twice, perhaps even three times every fortnight. The other complication with Nematodarus is if you have coccidiosis at the same time, the combination is incredibly uh, drastic on the sheep and you can get huge losses very, very quickly. And then it can be very difficult to know which is the major player. The two together are fatal to many lambs. Nematodarus doesn't affect ewes very much, although they can pick up large numbers of eggs and they pick them up in the spring it contaminates the pasture, so that if you let your ewes and lambs out onto the same pasture every year, the chances of Nematodarus are greater. They are greatest in years where we have a cold winter and a sudden warm spring with damp weather, because we get a mass hatch. They are also recorded in the southern counties in the autumn. We're not really sure of the mechanism, but certainly Nematodarus losses in older lambs can occur in southern counties in the recent years. Fortunately with Nematodarus we can give a reasonable forecast depending upon temperatures in the winter and in the spring and the SCOPS website will give you a forecast for various areas of the likelihood of Nematodarus infection year on year.